Hi everyone and welcome to the review of my Spider 4 Pro new screen calibrator. Now I'd like to just share this with you because I bought it this morning and I've calibrated my screen with it over my Panton UI Pro. Um, and I find out that this is a thousand times better. This calibrator also adjusts the... Um, it, it, it just the contrast and the shadows and stuff like that so I just want to show you an image that I sent off for print not so long ago now it's this image and that image is ready for print but obviously that what I'm showing you at the minute is actually an uncalibrated screen and now if I click the calibration now obviously you're probably not going to get accurate results on this because of the video camera doing its own interpretation of contrast and colour but I just want you to see the difference when I turn on the calibration profile so if I go bang now can you see I'll go off on I never knew before I tried this if I record it with screen flow and I do that it doesn't show the difference in the contrast I'm hoping that this video does when I play it black you can see uncalibrated calibrated can you see how it looks a slightly more colorful and now if you watch the eyes they go a little bit darker now on my UI my UI that I had I used to get the colors correct but it won't bang on it used to be slightly more vibrant when I got it printed but it was near enough <clears throat> but when I look at my print now that I got because I've got this print I actually got it printed last week um, when I look at the print now and I look at this it's banging it's absolutely perfect. The colour's perfect now. It's 99.9% .9 right. But what I like is the contrast change. I never got that with me, UA. I'm now getting more, more detail and more representation of my highlights and my shadows as well with this new Spider 4 Pro. And as you can see, I mean, there's quite a dramatic... I mean, this is an up-to-date screen and the colouring a great deal far away. But they, look at the difference of the contrast. And now when I'm looking at those eyes, they look a little bit dark to me. I'd have probably brightened them up a bit more if I could have seen that on my pants on UI Pro. But I couldn't see it. Um, but I'd just like, this is my first part review. And I'd just like to say that I'm absolutely, I mean I'll show you the calibrator and stuff like that in, in more detail. I'd just like to say that wow amazing and any photographer whether you're a pro or not should have one of these calibrators um, and the amount of photographers that I speak to that ain't got one it's, it's amazing because there's I mean I'm hoping that this video will help people to thinking when they look at your image there I mean this is a modern screen so in a million miles away but you go get an older screen that's a couple of years old I mean look at the difference just there even on my modern screen you know, this is an LED backlit up-to-date screen and you can really see a massive difference. Um, you know, you need to get one. Because in all fairness, you can't judge somebody's image without getting one, to be fair. I'm not really, I'm personally not interested in anybody looking at that image and giving their view on the colour and the contrast and everything unless they've got a calibrated screen. So, I mean, this is £100, £106. Quid. It's pretty dear, but it'll last me five years, I'm sure. So, 25 quid a year. I can live with not even that. And I'm really happy at the contrast and the highlights and stuff. Now, I can see my shadows more accurately and my highlights more accurately. Whereas before, it was more just near enough accurate colour. But now, I'm getting accurate contrast as well, which is even better. Do you know what I mean? Because you can put the contrast up. So it looks good on your screen. And to be fair, if you don't want to... Let me just close Photoshop now. I'm just going to close Photoshop. You can see the desktop looks quite a bit different. But what you could do if you really didn't want to leave it... I mean, look at the desktop there, look. Look at the icons along the bottom. And they really do. There's a massive difference. But in all fairness, I could leave it uncalibrated if I wanted to. And then when I want to go do some printing, I can just come back to my calibrated profile. But to be honest, I think I'm just going to live with it like that because it it looks, it's proper good. And even my desktop now looks more contrastier and punchier. But to be in all fairness, when the, when the people that made this desktop, they made it to look like that. That'll be what they were looking at. They won't have been looking at it like that. They'll have been looking at it calibrated and everything. And they'll have been looking at it nice and punchy like it looks now. Anyway, see you in part two. One, I'll show you the, the uh, calibrator. 
they do the Spider 4 Express, the Spider 4 Pro, which I got, and the Spider 4 Elite. This will also calibrate, let me just leave it calibrated for now. This will also calibrate the iPad. So when I start putting my images on the iPad and taking them to clients, they're going to have a calibrated iPad to look at. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.